Right, folks, plant friends here. Right, I did say I'll go through my water purification kit in my fire kit video. This is the 2019 water purification kit. As you can see, here's the water bottle pouch. Do apologise if you can't see it. You should be able to see that. So, water bottle pouch, there's the rucksack attached onto the belt. I took it off today because I just couldn't be bothered. Right, this pouch here was attached to the water bottle pouch. It's got the water bottle in it, got the mu uh, mug in it. Got the lid for the mug on the bottom and got other bits in there but the main thing today we're going to go through is this patch here as you can see there's another another punisher patch that's not going to stay there that's just there for a minute so i had nowhere else to stick it so shall we go through it let's begin shall we as you can see it is quite full as you can see we're to go through that Afterwards, start off with, we have got a Sawyer Mini, what does 100,000 US gallons. I have no idea what that is in English gallons. I will put that in the description so you guys know. So I do have one of them. As well as the bag, that is a dirty bag. That is what I put my dirty water in it, water in it, but I do clean it out after I've used it. So. Technically, it's dirty, but it's clean. And here I have potassium permanganate. It is good stuff, but it's highly dangerous at the same time if you don't know what you're doing. I've got the crystal stuff, as you can see there. I do have the powder stuff, what looks like, in my opinion, looks like soft sugar, what I say. I've got a little spoon in there to, to kick it out with. So I have got this one. I do use it, but I don't use it as often. But I use it in this time of year in winter because if I use it if I use my soy in the winter, I'm afraid. I'm I'm afraid yeah, I'm afraid that that is gonna freeze. So I don't use that at all during winter. I'd mainly just use this with my mill bank bag. It's the mill the mill bank bag don't live in this pouch anymore. That lives in, as I said, at the bottom of the rucksack here, where I will go through all the extras in another video when I go through the main pack of my rucksack. Okay, guys, so that's that. I'm not going to take them out because it's no point. As you can see, I do have a, sh I do have some tube in there. That there is just in case if I need to get into a smaller crack. In small, cut small. Crack. If I need to get in some, some smaller areas and I can't get into it, I can get into, I can use that. And then I can, all I've got to do is put that at the end of that and then just drink it like a straw, basically, instead. If I'm, des if I'm that desperate. I do have my a lighter in here. I, this is a backup lighter. I don't use it unless I need to. And it comes, I don't carry the straw that comes with it. And at the very bottom, do a point like that, guys. Give me a second. Sorry about that guys, I just had a phone call, but yeah, we'll move on now, shall we? Right, last thing, as I was saying, it is a... Sorry about that, you just growled. Not growled, but grumped. It is a bottle bag clip. It's for this one. It's Molly... Molly... It takes... It goes on Molly. So, yeah. I might do a video on these. Because I do have, a, as you know, I do have a couple of them. I do have one in my water cache. So, yeah. So, that is my water purification kit of 2019. This will not be going in my, this, I do not take, I will take the soya, the soya bag. But I won't take this one, I'll take the two litre bag onto Dartmoor with me. Because at the end of the day, that, as I said, that is 100,000 US gallons, so. That will last me the rest of my life, even if I go on Dartmoor all the time. So, tell me what you think. Tell me what you would add. There is one thing I am going to add before I forget. I am getting some more purification tablets. Not purification tablets this much time. I've practically run out. I've gone out. Not gone out of date. They're going out of date. And, um, I just want to get some more newer ones so it's nicer and it's more fresh. And then it's another five years I don't have to worry about it. Hopefully. Fingers crossed if they come that way. Right, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. I really do. Oh, 
I forgot something, then I am back, Wally. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot something else again. I was when I was doing my fell rod in water challenge. I was email. I've not emailed, but I've someone put in comments. I think it was Mountain Ghost. Do apologise if I can't say your name properly. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna have a look. It yeah, Mountain Gold five five six said I should use these pH um paper things, indicator things, same about acid and alkaline. So I thought I'll get so I've got some. I'm going when I do the fur rod in salt water challenge in seawater, I'll be using them. But I thought why not put them in my water purification kit. So then I know if the water is acid, um, acidic alkaline everything like that so i know if i can drink it if it's acidic i won't touch it if it's really acidic i won't touch it if it's really thing like alkaline i won't touch it so i got them so there we go they're going in they go in now in my water purification kit because i think it might be a good idea if you don't think it's a good idea just let me know but right, now that is it guys i do apologize about that thank you for watching and um, we will see you on the next one. And thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.